This is Aula in northern Finland. It's just 100 miles south of the Arctic Circle, where, depending on the season, you can either bask in 24 hours of sunshine or experience a full day of total darkness. It's a fitting metaphor for the telecom industry right now, which is entering a new era of both unprecedented opportunity and existential threat. I've come to Aula for the opening of Nokia's new R&D center. This facility is central to Nokia's ambitions in both 5G and 6G mobile technology and AI. And just as the center is vital to Nokia, Nokia itself, as one of the world's big five telecom vendors, is at the heart of its carrier customers' efforts to transition from simple bandwidth providers to, well, something much more significant. We need to co-innovate and collaborate. And in fact, that's the story of technology is, is best of breed coming together, co-innovating and delivering new sources of value. Nokia is also taking on another key challenge, upgrading Europe's network infrastructure to support the European Union's AI ambitions. We only have a, a handful of critical tech companies in Europe, Nokia being one of them. The most critical challenge right now is to how do you build a real digital infrastructure for the whole of the continent and how do you do it fast? Now, Nokia is extremely well qualified to help with those tasks. It's been one of the world's leading comms companies for four decades and consistently ranked as a leader in every category of telecom tech. But what got Nokia here won't get it there. To achieve its goals, Nokia knows it must also reinvent itself. Nostalgia is, is not very useful. So what we have to maintain culturally is the, the hunger and the curiosity to learn new things and keep renewing ourselves and, and be very vigilant about what are the opportunities of the new technologies. That work has already begun. It has this new R&D center, a new CEO and a new attitude. At the heart of Nokia's transformation lies a question far bigger and more important than just technology or money. How to build an AI-enabled infrastructure that can support the new global digital economy. Nokia of today is a combination of companies. It, there's a lot of um, brand equity and value from the mobile phone days, but it's not the mobile phone company. It's about a team, you know, radio and mobile infrastructure here. We're doing optical manufacturing in, uh, in the US, um, you know, fiber broadband. There's many folks doing many different things, cloud and software services. But it's about playing our positions and all aligning on the success. If Nokia can execute on that vision, it has the potential to drive the AI economic super cycle across the European Union and the world. It can empower its carrier customers to reinvent themselves and secure its own continuing success. Finland may sit at the very top of Europe, but there's no doubt after witnessing Nokia's ambitions here in Aula that they intend to be at the very heart of the AI-driven global digital economy.